All right, Mr. Satko here, and welcome back to another H1Z1 episode here. And I just got done resting, and I'm in Pleasant Valley, but I still don't have any guns or anything like that, so I don't have anything useful, really. And, but I do have plenty of hydration. I've been finding lots of water. Which is pretty good, I guess. Oh, yeah, what I definitely need from this place is cloth. I just need to tear up some cloth here. So I can make a satchel. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I can actually carry things. On some bullets. Uh. It looks like they actually added a few things to these uh, buildings here. Normally, like, these buildings just are so disappointing in the sense that there's just never anything in them. That's what you get, cabinet. Twelve gauge. Okay, so. And that was just a player that ran up there, so I'm going to get out of here. Because uh, I, I just don't want any beef. Um, as soon as a player gets near you, he's just going to shoot you. It just happens all the time. So, I need to find the residential area, and I... I don't think I really know where I'm at, so let's just uh, keep moving on. Although I don't necessarily need to find the residential area. Uh, it's just that I figure I would find maybe a firearm. And there we go. I definitely needed that. Oh, and there's lots of ammo in there. I wish I could get, but I'm about to be overrun by zombies. Oh, this is really convenient. <laughs> One at a time. Oh, really? There we go. Ah, that figures. Thank you. All right, so now I'm dead. So I get to uh, do something else now, apparently. See, that's uh, the nature of the game. I think this is even like a low pop right now, and uh, you can just see that you just get overwhelmed. People just instantaneously shoot you. Nobody wants to ask any questions. Just bam. But uh, again, that's sort of what you get when you make a survival game that y you don't have anything to do in. Is that really the only thing left to do is just go around and shoot people. Um, so I again, I really don't blame anybody for just going around and shooting people on this game. Uh, because the developers really haven't given you a reason to do anything else. I mean, one, you, you can build a base, right? But once you build your base, what's the point of it? Like, what do you, what do, you do after that? Um, c collect more stuff, basically. And then, and then once you've got enough stuff, like, what do you, what do, you do after that? So there's no, there's no real chain of things to do eventually. And so basically, like, the, what you do is just, all right, I'm just going to go around shooting people because you don't have much of a choice. And I have no idea what direction I'm running. I, I really have no idea. So I'm at G5, so I'm like right here, and we'll see where I get, I guess. And that's also the nature of being in Pleasant Valley as well, uh, F5. OK, 
Okay. Uh, technically, I'm heading back to Pleasant, I think. That's okay. We can head. We can head that way. Uh, I first of all, I need to find. Uh, Oh, I need to get all my ammo and all my stuff back, but I need some cloth uh, so I can make a satchel. And, you know, I mean, you can tear up your own gear and make, you know, like your your clothing and make a satchel. Like, so I could probably get enough by tearing up my legs and my chest, my jeans and my shirt. But uh, your jeans and your shirt each hold 50, and so the satchel holds 300, which is obviously more efficient than holding just a hundred, but I, I still like to keep the clothes that I'm on, that I have on. I don't know why. I don't like to run around naked, I guess. But I was trying to get to the residential side of... of Pleasant Valley, which is a little bit better, and you don't, um... Uh, you, you don't run into people nearly... Well, I guess. You, not as much. Uh, in the city like that, it's just... It's just a matter of time before somebody just runs in and, and shoots you. I always make mistakes in this game in the sense that, like, I always, I, I always suspect the, the, the greater good in people and that they're not going to shoot me or they'll, they'll, they would rather, like, team up than battle each other. And I really should just, um, I really should just go the evil route and just really start attacking anybody I see for, like, for just no reason and, uh, just to defend myself, really. Because at this point, there's not even any time for questions like, oh, are you friendly or not? It's just, just they just open fire as soon as they see you. I didn't even have any cloth or nothing on him. Lame. I was really looking to maybe if he had any kind of cloth, a shirt or anything. I don't know. Something. Okay, I'm at E5 now. So technically I'm pretty much in uh, Pleasant once more. So that didn't take too long, I suppose. Uh, E5 is uh, maybe a little bit north of it, so maybe if I just go slightly this way. And I really got to make sure I pick up a good amount of sticks on the way, because uh, it, it, around Pleasant, there's sort of a lack of sticks all around Pleasant. Uh, I was playing the other day um, with a friend of mine, and uh, he really wanted to just build a base, and uh, I really prefer to run around, and even if it gets me killed, um, I find it just funner, because if you just build a base, then you're really standing in the same spot forever, and like, it, I just find it somewhat pointless, like, what do you do afterwards, you know? Wow. I almost died there. From those punchy sticks. I can't believe that did that that much damage.
Okay, see if we can find any good cloth or anything in here. Nope, apparently not. I can shred up these jeans. Usually get like four for that, yep. So I should have enough for a satchel after this. And I'll use my last two gauzes. Which I still don't think that'll bring me up to a hundred. Okay, so we'll check out some of these houses, and I'm gonna try and accumulate a bunch of, uh, a bunch of ammunition, and then just sort of break it all down and make the ammunition that I need. Because I just got that pistol, and then I got shot. So, ooh, a compass in here. I could really use that. Oh, it's in the dresser, the desk. And I suppose I will take that combat knife for now. As I really have nothing else to defend myself with. I suppose I could make my bow now, huh? Wait, wait. Oh, okay, I made that. Alright. Okay, so I made a bow, and I got my knife. Let's see what else we can find here. Close that on the zombies. And this door, too. And hopefully we, we find something good. Brown jeans. Oh, we'll shred those up. We can make some uh, bandages, at least out of those, which I suppose I should make some now. Because if I make them when I'm bleeding, then uh, I probably bleed out by the time I'm done making them. Okay, so I got lots of scrap cloth. not finding a gun. I just need to find like one gun, any gun basically, and then I'll take all the ammo that I find and just break it down into that particular gun. Finding a gun is going to be easier said than done. These are always just exceedingly rare in this town. Oh, we got a lot of scrap cloth. That's pretty good. Uh, sometimes you don't have enough. Eh, there's lots in there, but I don't think I really need all that much more. If I want to find a lot of ammo, I should just really go to the office buildings, because there's so many of those filing cabinets in them. But that means I have to go into... Uh, into town where people just shoot you as soon as they see you. The 
suppose I might be better off doing that. Just going back into town and risking it. Because searching houses one by one, just a little bit tedious. Because you just want something to be in there so bad, and then you just go in them, and there's just nothing there. And you always keep going back. Oh man, maybe this time. But no. Ugh. Thought I could get around him. Now minor bleeding. Take care of that. Aha! Uh -huh. See, it does pay off to uh, look in, but it just, like I said, it just takes so long that you give up after a while. Aha! Lots of ammo in there. That's always good. And we'll check upstairs real quick. Oh, and a rifle. But, uh... You know what? I actually kind of hate the 308. But I don't think I'm even going to bother. I'm just going to turn all my ammo into 45 for now. 45 is just a little easier to use. And, like, an emergency situation, like if somebody's, like, right in front of you, you can just really just hammer out rant rounds out of the 45 whereas the 308 is a little too slow but I just need to find a war ooh I will take this AR though that's for sure I really need to get into town, and uh, I need to get to, like, the office district-esque place. And that's where I'll find a ton of ammunition. We're just getting a little close to the uh, video timer, and so I'm just going to turn it off here, and I will start back from right here and continue into town. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.